How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft here in FTB Infinity Vault. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. In the last episode, we uh, did a few, few little base expansion things. We got ourselves a blast furnace in between episodes. I also went ahead and kind of prepared a few things for today. Uh, I also went ahead and added a bunch of these barrels. So that way we kind of start getting getting to where I want. So the thing that I was looking into was the extra you well, actually all these are from the extra utilities mod, but basically it's so we want to get some pipe, which pretty standard. We should be able to make it right now. As for the nodes, we could Again, make the nodes right now. We have all the components we need. We're not going to use the ender pearls because uh, I'm saving those for other things, but we have plenty of redstone. But other than that, we can pretty much make all the components we need. Uh, I do want to get speed upgrades. Just so that way we can pull more than just one or two items at a time. We could do the stack upgrade. But I don't think we have enough extra diamonds. So I did go do some mining. So we, now we have quite a bit more than what we had. We have more coal, more redstone, some more electrolyte. Some other things. I keep iron on me because my tool is iron. And so I just repair it that way. Now if yours was made out of stone or something else, then probably keep stone on you. I have the gold on me for other reasons. But we'll kind of get into that today. So I was kind of looking at the quest book. I... I think I want to get towards like a tunnel bore or I don't know something to maybe automate mining we're getting close because I can start to see some of the inklings right so we want to get my like miners friend and then if we look here at uh, miscellaneous machines I don't know why it opens the spawner one but there's so like the mining dimension and there's a ender quarry there is a bit in here isn't there there's 100% Enderman. Hi, Enderman. Um, there's also, so if we do sufficiently advanced tech, the sufficiently advanced tech, fondly enough, is more magic than actual tech. Which I think is funny, actually. So we've mostly completed all the beginning quests with a few side notes. I want to get so heats to get the free five lasers, but we need the thermonic fabricator. Well, in order to get that, we need to get an iron chest. So now we should be able to complete this one, yep. Bigger on the inside. But in order to do that, we need to get a gold chest, an even bigger chest. But we're also gonna need a sturdy casing. And then if we combine these together, Wham, bam, shabam, we have ourselves a thermonic fabricator. So now if we go ahead and take a look at the quest, we actually unlocked a few, it looks like. For the birds and immersive engineering, and the converter. I believe that just allows us to convert energy. Uh, diggy, diggy, hole, amp it up. Those are some we're going to need. Alright, so if we go back to, was it better than iron? No. Which one was it? It was this one. Okay. So now we get a laser. Well, we have to make a laser, right? So in order to make a laser... Laser. Well, we need to get some redstone and we get these tubes, right? So now we're going to need quite a few diamonds, which we have, and to melt some glass. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to place this down right about here, I say. All right. So we need a recipe for it. So as you saw, in order to make these tubes, we need... Five diamonds, two redstone, and some sand or glass to melt down. All right, we'll look at the Enderman. Text only. Get him to attack us. All right, so we need five diamonds, two redstone, and we need some sand. Ah, uh, or glass. Do we have sand or glass? We have some glass. Okay, hopefully that's enough. So if we go ahead and put these things in, so we have to select its recipe, just like that, and we put it that there, and we can go ahead and put that there. So it tells us how much we need to melt the glass. 
But oh no, it's missing the liquid. It also tells us it doesn't have power. So in order for this to function, what we need to do is we need to put something that produces RF. So there's a few different ways we can produce RF in Minecraft. We can either use the hobbyist steam engine, or from an earlier request, we can use the survival generator. I'm going to just do some cold coke to produce. So eventually we'll have cable, but for now I'm going to just put it here. Actually, I'm not going to put it here. I'm going to put it here, because that way I can put something above or, And then it will passively provide power to this. So here's where kind of the power builds up. And so it's going to slowly build up until it hits that kind of bronzy, kind of dusty gold bar. And it tells us who owns it. It also tells us anything else about it. And so now what it's going to go ahead and do is once it gets, gets up there, it's not quite there. Come on, a little bit more. Come on, a few more ticks. Hey, there we go. So now we got liquid glass. That went ahead and automatically made some of those. So now what we can go ahead and do, so if we place those like that, and we need to grab two obsidian, which we happen to have. And a little bit of redstone. I'll just grab the little stack just so we can have it on us. So now if we go like that, like that, like that, wham, bam, shabam, we have a laser. I'm going to just throw that right there. That right there, even though that doesn't go, but that's fine. So now we need to get an assembly table. Well, to get an assembly table, so we go ahead and take a look. Assembly table. We need diamond. Well, we need to get a diamond gear. So how are we going to do that? Well, we go ahead here. Well, we already have the gold gear, but we need a diamond gear, which means we need some diamonds. So let's go ahead and grab that. Grab four diamonds over here. I was prepared today. Got some diamonds. And now we go throw it here. Bam! We have an assembly table. So now with this, what this is going to allow us to do is this is going to allow us to do some applied energistics things among other very interesting things. It takes a while for items to craft, so be patient. Items to craft will not be stored in the inventory. Right? So they'll be shot out into the world or placed into an inventory that is that it's touching. Right? So we do have to be cognizant of that right so if we kind of read this right so the assembly table makes chipsets which are used in several different machines so we place the items that the recipe requires on the left side click the result you want make sure that there is laser with energy it takes a while so be patient items crafted will not be stored in the inventory right so we'll just place it here for now right so if i put items we'll just say iron right so it's going to make something with iron well, it doesn't save it in here. It will plop it out into the world. So we have to put a chest on it. Or under it. Right? So we need to find some more for, for some lasers to go. These are going to take up kind of a little bit of space. Hmm. We need, we're going to need some room to route these. Okay, well, I'm going to figure out where to put these. Okay, now I need to grab some wood, which I don't know if I have. Uh, I have wood that doesn't turn into wood. And wood I can't use. Of course, now it's day. Crap, where, where did my... Where did my axe go? Oh, there it is. Alright, uh, so we went ahead and I did a thing. It's not pretty. That's that's for sure. So basically what I did is we of course have our power. Threw down a laser here. And we just threw the assembly table here. So it's getting a teeny teeny bit of RF. So the more lasers you have, the more the more work gets done. In a shorter amount of time right so basically the more power we can transfer so the lasers basically act like conduits or some sort of tool that allows us to transfer from the generator to the table right to be able to craft any sort of chipset with uh having one pretty slow now if we put all 
all six we had down, well, then that's going to be quite a lot, right? I don't have any sort of... <sighs> Get out of the home. Great, now he took something from my house. And so you'll see that by here. So the red laser means, well, not a whole lot of energy is being transferred. Now, if it was a green laser, it would mean it's at full strength, it's really transferring, and it's going to go. So you put the materials in on the left, and then you select what we want to craft. We want to craft iron chipsets. The reason we want to craft an iron chipset is because we want to get to... Let's see if I can remember this correctly. Uh, is it in here? Screw hammer, seriously. Is it this one? I can't remember if it was the metal former. It's one of these. Uh, it's it's in here. Let's repeat now. Uh, maybe it's on this one. Okay, well. So if we want to get a forge, it's on the process of getting a forge. So we can get these. So we want to get a compressor. So in order to get a compressor, we need electric circuits, okay? Electronic circuits, pretty straightforward. Wait, there was something why we couldn't get this. Well, technically, uh, yeah, so we need basic machine casings, and we need an iron chipset, which requires 200,000 RF. So as you can see, this is going to take quite a while. Luckily, we were able to get what we needed. Uh, it's in one of these chests. Let's go ahead and clean our inventory a little bit. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just, you go and live in there for now. Here. So we have a basic machine casing, which is what we need for a compressor. Then we need, but we, we need rubber. All right, we need a few more things. We'll have to go ahead and get those for the electronic circuit, for the compressor. And then what else do we need for the forge? Let's see, I need, if I can, if I can type, if I can type. All right, so we have the compressor, which will turn the steel plate or the refined iron plate, either one. So either way, we need, either need to do a metal press or a metal former, a block cutting machine, or a metal press. So I believe the metal former was one of these, right? Miscellaneous. Hammers. Yes, metal former. Okay. So to get a metal former, we need coils. Okay, pretty straightforward. We can get that. Toolbox. Eh. Yeah, a lot of bronze, but we can do it. Another machine casing. So we do need to get one more iron chipset. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get a few of these things made up, and I will be right back. Alright, so kind of came up with a, I don't know, a very half measure. So I took the steam engines, three of them, and just kind of set them in the back. They don't have automatic water input. We're going to have to manually do that. They don't have automatic fuel input. We also have to do that. But for now, I did put an infinite water source here just so we could refill them. So they're going to sit here and generate steam that gets turned into RF, assuming there's an output for it. So they're going to output into the lasers. The lasers then output in here. Uh, I didn't make a chest just yet, but eventually there will be, and this will have a proper room, probably somewhere in that direction. So what we did go ahead and get is I was able to get everything we need for these two toolboxes. I got the three coils we need, two electronics we need, so we can do this to get the compressor. And if we put everything we need here... And grab a basic machine casing here and go like that. So I need the metal former and the compressor. So these two machines, I don't want to put them down because with IC2, you need, I believe it's a, a special type of wrench. Uh, yeah, I believe it's the, these, IC2, IC2. Yeah, so we're going to need a little bit of bronze. Okay, good, we actually have enough. 
There we go. So now we should be able to pick them up. So I was thinking here's where we're going to put the electronics, but... So these don't use RF. These use EU, which is a different type of electricity. I believe we saw that there was... Yeah, I was going to say, I believe there is a converter. Well, immersive engineering cables, if we actually... Where is it? Yeah, immersive engineering cables convert RF and EU, so this works both storage for both. All right. So if we look at what we need to get an MV, an MV capacitor. Yeah. So we need true planks, which we have. We have iron. We have technically we have lead. And that's just redstone, it's just colored. But we need electrum. Electrum's interesting, and it's just gold and silver, which I believe we can do right now. We do have some silver. We do have some lead. I gotta be careful, because now that we have a bunch of things in this, there is a little bit of gold. So let's just throw one in there, and we'll throw one lead. I don't think that should mix with anything. It shouldn't, but we'll see. I guess let's go ahead and while we're waiting. The great part about these windows is they're also storage. So I can fill them with lava as we need. Because I, I can take them out and go move them. Or if we have extra liquid in here, I could just dump it out and put it in here. Or pick one of these up, put it here, drain it in, and put it back up. So I, th I think it's a nice way to kind of utilize the glass windows in but also utilize because right because i'm not saying it's use like useless space but it, this does add more functionality to your smeltery right because now i can store things here you can also see the levels of what you have it's not a lot it's only four buckets but it's still it's more than what would have been stored there all right so i need Let's go see if I can find our ingot cast. I tried using the um, build craft pipes, but I couldn't get them to work. I don't know if it's because they were the wrong ones or what, but I could not for the life of me figure out why it did not want to work. So I just kind of gave up on it. I'll probably look into more uh, like different cables. What do we need the Electrum particularly for? Oh, we just need two ingots. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it was like a gear we needed or something. All right, so let's go like that, like that. I think it's funny that it, because we have a few different mods in here that have these uh, these ingots in it. It doesn't quite know which mod to give us. Which I think is funny. All right, so let's go ahead and silver ore back. So we have our lead, we have our Electrum. We need some redstone, we need true planks, and we need iron. We have some iron on us. So we have to go through it in there. And then, whoop, whoop, the true planks. Oh, yeah. Give me some iron. Meantime, let's go get this set up. Hopefully, we don't have to compress. No, perfect. Okay, let's go like that, that. That love looks so weird. So I'm not used to, oh, we have the tree planks as well. I'm not used to lead being that color. I'm used to it being like a purpley, kind of a purpley color. Cool, so now we have that. Awesome. So that's going to allow us to basically convert what we need. So now, if we go ahead and do... Hmm, still getting cramped. Let's take this over here. I guess let's set it up here for now. So if I put that there, the converter there, throw something that's burnable. Stack of coal, should be fun. Throw in a stack of coal. And if we throw that there, this should be getting power. Interest. Ooh, so we can do extruding, rolling, and cutting. Good. 
doesn't appear to be powering these machines. A box. No. Hmm. Convert cables convert. Well, the cable say it converts. Okay, so if the okay. Cable. That's a structural cable. So we want immersive engineering. Immersive engineering. Immersive engineering. I only see steel cable. There you go. Looks like there was another part, right? For for the birds. Oh, so it looks like there's some wire we have to make. Okay. Oh, jeez. There's a lot more wire. Okay, so some just copper. Uh, I don't want to steal like high. Oh, I'll start with copper if I have any left. Ten bronze. I do need these treated sticks, so let's grab those. Looks like we're all out of copper. We might have to do some more mining. Oh, no, we have some right here. Okay. We're not going to do much cable. Except we're going to need more. Hmm. Go like that, like that. Okay, good. It does store. So so the MV capacitor does store, so we can pick it up and move it if we need to. That's good to know. Okay, so now in order to do we need some clay. We need some hardened clay actually. Let's see if I can remember where I put this. I really need to spend some time in between the episodes to organize some things. Cause right now it is a mess. What's the recipe? Is it just four? Oh yeah, it's just four. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. And I do know of one place we can get some there's some copper right there. We have four ingots of copper in the machine. Let's grab See? Gives us a different mod, gives us Tinker's copper. We have IC2 copper. The annoying thing is they don't stack. Although they, do, luckily, thankfully, they, we can just use them interchangeably. So are there any other wires that I'm unaware of? Barbed wire? I didn't, I didn't know that was a Okay. This will go, which one? This one? Also, if you're wondering why you're, uh, whatchamacallit, crafting table doesn't keep things in it, is you have to put it and turn it into a crafting station. Yeah. I guess we'll do that. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we throw coal into here, this gets power, this then powers the machines. Awesome, so wait, this one's not powered. Is it a continuous train? I hope not, I hope it's not a continuous train. That is RF, that is RF, that doesn't have RF, that does. I don't know why that one doesn't, but this one does. We need what? Four? I think it's four. Where'd 
pretty sure that was the recipe. Forge. Dense iron. Oh, it's nine. Oh, jeez. I don't know if we have enough iron on us for that. Okay, we don't. Okay, so let's go to roll iron. Boop, boop. That's quite a lot of iron. Hmm, okay. Well. I think what we'll do is, I think we'll call it here for today. And I definitely did not mean to do that. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll call it here for today. And then I, in between episodes, I'll go ahead and kind of get everything prepped. And then we'll hopefully we'll have a tool forge at the start of the next episode. That would, that would be good. Oh, you know what? I, can't, I suppose we could do. Yeah, there we go. How much is it going to do in one go? Let's see. Okay, so it's one at a time. Ooh, it's a one for one. That is quite good. I don't think this is doing this correctly. So if I break that one. Interesting. So it doesn't power upward? Mm. Is, that, is there immersive engineering hammer? A crescent hammer? I know some of the hammers are like good Omni mod hammers. Okay, so that powers. No, it's still not powering it. What the hell? Is it... There is an immersive engineering hammer, and I think we have it. I don't think it's a wrench. Oh, yeah, see, so, okay, there is a hammer. There we go. That's why. Okay, so if we do that to there, that to there. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and call it. Now that we have our compressor working. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's do that. That awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well. This really does help with the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.